Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah if you are new here. I would love it if you would consider subscribing if you haven't already and join my family. And today we're going to be doing a what's in my diaper bag slash itsy ritzy backpack diaper bag review. I am very very happy with my diaper bag and I wanted to share with you guys why I'm so happy with it, why I recommend it. And I have had this diaper bag for about a year and a half, so I've gone through a lot of things with it. I've done a lot of trips with it. So stay tuned if you would like to hear about that diaper bag and if you'd like to see what's in my diaper bag. So first off, let's take a look at this diaper bag. I have the completely black version and they have a lot of different colors. They come out with different colors at different times. So I know on their website right now, I think they have one that's like a white, tan, and brown, I believe. But they've had all different kinds of ones. I know Erin Williams came out with her own version of this bag that was completely designed by her. And then I actually got my bag at Bye Bye Baby. I think that's the best place to get it because you can just go there, you can feel the bag and just like really make sure that you want it. But also, I believe their 20% off coupons work on these bags. And they do have a couple colors there. So I just checked on their website. They do have the completely black version. They have, I think it was like a gray and brown. And then they have a really pretty light pink like blush color. So I love that color. I, I seriously considered getting that color but I was a little nervous that it would get dirty. So I'm glad that I got the black because honestly, having this for a year and a half, I like never wipe it down and it looks amazing. And it even has this rubber at the bottom. So I can throw this like in the parking lot, like outside my car, if I have a thousand things in my hand and I'm not worried that it's gonna get ruined. So I guess let's start with what's in my diaper bag and as I show you what's in there you kind of get a feel of all the pockets and everything. So the first thing is the top here by the handle there is a zipper. So in here it's just like a really small pocket probably meant for like keys I'm thinking or just something like that. And honestly you guys I have a lot of random stuff in here because my son is 21 months so he's kind of outgrown a lot of those really like small baby needs but like I'm looking and like I still have his amber teething necklace which I haven't put on him in probably a year I don't know but it's in here <laughs> in that top pocket but it's just like when they get to that age I feel like there's a lot of things they don't need anymore I might have a few of those things still in here but I've mostly cleaned it out I think and it's mostly just the essentials for what you would need for a toddler who's not really going through teething, not really needing like those teething toys or medicine. He doesn't really use pacifiers when we're out either anymore. So honestly, when I am packing my diaper bag, as long as I have water, snacks, diapers and wipes, I'm good to go. Those are like my essentials and then everything else in here is kind of like just little things that I might need on occasion and I also have my personal like keys and wallet. All right, <laughs> let's get into it. So I have a car like cigarette charger. Um, I don't really use that, but it's kind of nice to have in case you ever need it. I have just like a little like chapstick lip gloss type thing. And then I have just some um, nail clippers that are like adult size. So that's everything in that top pocket. But like I said, I think a lot of people would put their keys in here. I just hate having to like unzip and get my keys all the time, so I don't put them in there. And they also have these really nice clips. Um, it's like a strap with a clip on both sides. So you can either like clip it and just keep it like double clipped or I just like leave it long or whatever you want to do. Because I clip this to the grocery cart. That is a hack. If you want to save room, Put your kid in the top part where the kid's supposed to sit and then I clip this to the front of the cart like below my son's legs and it just stays there and it, there's no bag in the grocery cart. So on days when I know I'm going to need to buy a ton of stuff, that's what I do and it's freaking awesome. You can also clip this to any stroller. 
I use it on my Uppa baby. It just clips to anything amazingly and it's awesome, super convenient. So I always have the clips on here. There's a little side pocket here that is insulated. And so I just have a sippy cup with water. I always bring just a cup of water because for some reason my son like, I don't know, maybe all toddlers like this, but sometimes he just like really wants water. And like, even if it's a short trip, we're out for like a half hour, I just feel bad not having it if he, cause sometimes he'll see somebody else drinking it or something. So I just always make sure I have like a fresh cup of water with us. On the other side here, there is a zipper pocket. And this is also insulated. And you will notice a theme in my diaper bag is a lot of snacks. <laughs> so I have like a fiber one cheesecake bar and then a kind nut butter. These are mostly for me, but if, if it got down to it and I didn't have any snacks left, I'd give them to my son if he needed them. <laughs> but those are mostly my snacks on that side. Looking at the front here, we have a couple pockets. So in this bigger one, it's the perfect size for me to fit my wallet. So I just always put my wallet there. It's super easy when I have him in my hands and the diaper bag, I can easily just grab out my wallet. And then the pockets are magnetic, which is really awesome. So they kind of stay closed, but you don't have to do anything to close them. So that is there in this smaller one. This is where I keep a lot of my son's snacks. He actually ate them all. <laughs> we were just out at story time and I had like two snacks in there and he ate them. But I also looks like have a little chapstick that I just threw in there too. And then moving on, let's do this back pocket. So you'll see there's a big zipper that goes down the side, like back part here. And this is intended to be for a changing pad. So it actually comes with one that fits perfectly. And it's really cute actually. It says head and then toes. <laughs> and it's just black and white. And it is wipeable. And it does have a magnetic little clip there. So that fits perfectly in that pocket. But I have also used that to put paperwork. When I'm traveling, I put my son's um, birth certificate or just like if I'm bringing pictures, like for some reason whenever I travel, I bring pictures for my family. So I throw them in there because they don't really get bent because that back part stays pretty straight. So just like anything that's like the size of a sheet of paper that you wanted to keep nice can fit in there nicely. Um, so I put like other stuff in there sometimes besides just the changing pad. And then the pocket that I probably use the most is this huge front pocket here. It looks like it's just like a small little slit, but honestly, I can fit so much stuff in here and it's awesome because it's just open. So if I have it like in my stroller, I can just reach in and grab stuff out of here so easy and quick. So I currently have a sticker that says, I've been Krogering <laughs> that I got for my son at the grocery store. I have my sunglasses in there, which honestly is probably not a good call because they'll probably get dirty. Um, if they were more expensive, I probably wouldn't just throw them in there. But I have my keys and I love having them super easy to just grab out. It looks like nothing else is in there right now, but I usually throw my phone in there too. So that's kind of all my super quick, easy access stuff right in that front pocket. So now jumping into the big pocket. And then there's a lot to this section, so bear with me. Um, it opens very wide, you can see. Like, if you need to, and honestly, when I am packing to go like on a plane or like a really big trip, I open it all the way and I'll just like lay it out on my bed and I'll just like pack every little pocket full. And it's really easy that way. Um, if you unzip it all the way when you're out in public, that can get messy because things can fall out. So I usually just unzip it like halfway and just grab things out. But if you really like want to see everything and get into all those little pockets, it's nice to be able to open it all the way like really big and lay everything out. So. In this um, front part that opens, there's two zippers here. So I don't have anything in there right now, but it is a good place to throw diapers or wipes or something that's kind of small that can fit in there. When my son was teething, I would throw those little like teething swabs or just like little things for him to chew on and stuff like that. 
Um, it'd be good for snacks too. I just don't really need the extra storage for snacks. I have snacks in lots of other places in this bag, but there are two big like mesh zippers there. So I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out because I have a lot of stuff just in the middle of the bag because there's a lot of pockets, but honestly, it's convenient just to throw stuff in the middle, like big section. And with a toddler my son's age, I don't have a lot of those little things. It's mostly just, like I said, diaper wipes and food. So I have two of these right now of the water wipes, just like to go bags. I have some spray, suntan lotion, and I do the Baby Gannix sunscreen spray. I used to get the Baby Gannix just lotion, um, but then I realized they have a spray and it's phenomenal. It doesn't like spray that evenly. It kind of sprays just like a, a thick like chunk at a time and then you have to rub it in, but it's so much easier than having to like sit there and like put it on your hand and like I just spray a couple on his leg and then wipe it in. I have a couple diapers and I have the Target brand diapers right now in there. I have just a small travel size butt paste. Always good to have. I do have the Arm & Hammer little to-go bags. These are awesome. They're kind of just like a dog bag that you would use like at a park. Um, but it essentially keeps the smell in like if you're out somewhere and you don't have a place to throw a dirty diaper or you need to keep it in your car but you're not about to put a poopy diaper in your car and leave it there all day. <laughs> you can throw it in that bag and it kind of helps contain it a little bit. I have a juice pouch because my son loves a good juice pouch and it's nice to have on hand if anything gets crazy. I do have some Pocky, which is funny. It's, I don't think they'll like that's like a normal thing you have in a diaper bag, but <laughs> my son and I both love those. It's just like a little treat every once in a while. <sighs> Looks like I have a Huggies diaper in there too. <laughs> I do have a swim diaper. I do the Huggies swim diapers. So that's always nice. Honestly, like sometimes we'll be going out and we didn't plan to go to a splash pad or something like that. So you never know when you need a swim diaper. Looks like I do have my baby Gannix. Um, the one that's not the spray, just like the cream. Um, so that just happened to be in there too. I have a bag of goldfish <laughs> at the bottom. Uh, let's see. I also have this um, just like clipped in the top of my diaper bag. And this is just a little to-go bag, um, like a reusable bag, but it folds up really small. So this is like a random bag that I got from a supplier when I used to work but it's nice to have like little reusable bags in your diaper bag if for some reason you need something or if you needed to throw like wet stuff in there and that's always nice too um so now I guess I can show you guys kind of what it looks like so here is what we're working with this is a little like mesh thing that could kind of hold stuff in like if you're really packing it full it helps um, there's some side pockets in here. You can see there's more mesh pockets on the side. And then in the back here, there are two really big pockets right there. So I like to use those big pockets in the back for diapers and wipes. And then the side pockets I'll put like butt paste or um, snacks or whatever. So I think most of these are empty right now because I've kind of pulled stuff out and just didn't put it back in. It looks like there's one swim diaper in one of them. And then one of the side pockets is magnetic. So in there, they actually snuck in even more snacks. So I have like this epic bison bar. <laughs> we have a zone bar. I have a Kashi bar. Those are mostly for me being pregnant. Oh, and I have couple chocolates that look like they kind of melted <laughs> um yeah I have a lot of snacks because me being pregnant and my son always wanting snacks that's like 80% of my diaper bag so there you go <laughs> but yeah and even the inside like it's just it really doesn't look dirty it just has stayed really nice and honestly I could wipe it down really easily if I needed to but I just don't really need too much it looks like there's a a zipper pocket back here. I like never use that pocket, but it's just like a really small zipper pocket up there. 
Like I said, there's lots of pockets on the inside of this thing. So if you really need to, like especially when you're traveling, you can really go to town and pack this thing full. So I personally have done multiple cross the country plane trips with my son and I brought just this diaper bag and my son on the plane and so I fit everything he needs, everything I need for the flight, snacks, water, even when he used to have formula, I would bring the formula and like empty bottles and like fill them up with water once I got through security. I, mean, I fit everything I needed in this diaper bag and it's been through a lot with us. So I highly, highly recommend it. And when you don't have a lot in here, if you just are like me now where I just throw in a couple diapers and some snacks and I'm good, it's pretty light if you just have a few things in there. So if you're looking for a diaper bag backpack that can kind of do everything. It can be like a simple light bag, but it can also be like a heavy duty, I'm going on a cross country plane trip type of bag. I really think it works well for both situations. And I love the black. I love the straps are kind of like a fake leather. They are padded. They're pretty thick. They're really comfortable. This handle is really nice. It's just super easy to grab. So that's my opinion of this diaper bag it's the itsy ritzy diaper bag backpack and they do have a website where you can buy them there but they only have limited colors and only certain in stock but bye bye baby does carry them and they usually have a couple colors on hand and online so recommend going there if you are seriously considering this bag but if you have any other questions definitely comment down below let me know what you're thinking before this bag, I did try just a few backpacks that weren't diaper bags. Like I got a couple from Target for really cheap. When my baby was really young, I got a few, I think it was like Skip Hop diaper bags that weren't diaper bag backpacks. They were just like over your shoulder bags. And that was mostly because I was trying to go a cheaper route. I think I found one of them at a thrift store. One of them I got for pretty cheap. And I was just trying to save some money and find whatever would work at the time. And it's not that those were bad, but once I finally decided I wanted to invest in a good backpack diaper bag that would last me a while, this has really made a huge difference in my life and just making everything super easy. And honestly, with my toddler now running and acting like a crazy man all the time, I can't imagine not having this awesome diaper bag backpack that can just be whatever I need it to be and I can throw it over my shoulder and it's super easy. So talking pricing for a second, I think on their website and Bye Bye Baby it's about the same price. I think this exact bag at Bye Bye Baby is $160 right now I want to say and then they do have a mini version that is $80. So if you're wanting something a little bit smaller, that. I mean, honestly, I could probably make do with the smaller one, but now that I'm pregnant and I'm going to have a second one, this definitely makes more sense. But if you are looking for something smaller, I think they're about $80 for the mini version of this bag. But like I said, if you can find a 20% off Buy Buy Baby coupon, that's definitely, you know, a good coupon to use on this item um, because I think it is about $160. So it's definitely more of an investment bag but I've had mine for a year and a half. It does not show anywhere, honestly, at this point. So I bet I could easily have it for a couple more years. And to me, it's definitely worth it. So that is everything that's in my diaper bag and what diaper bag I'm currently using for my toddler and what I plan to use once my baby girl arrives in a couple months. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. I do make mommy related videos. I do some vlogs, some cleaning videos. So if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.